welcome guys thank you so much for joining in so right now as you can see the price of bitcoin is actually in a very very interesting situation because we want to know whether this trend is going to continue further in a downward direction or is this just a temporary price pullback before price starts kicking in an upper direction for that what i have actually done is i have actually included this wycops reaccumulation scenario to pinpoint some area of support and resistance and to see whether this one is going to play out or not and also i'm very sorry that i was not able to upload videos on the last two days because actually i was not feeling well and i thought it's better to take some time off the screen and that's also a reason and you can still hear it on my voice it's not sounding well but i thought hey maybe there are some individuals waiting for this update so there we go guys so now if you look at the price action what i've done is i've actually included this wyckoff's re scenario so according to this wyckoff re scenario after this psy the preliminary supply the market usually tends to move in an upper duration reaching the blcx which is known as the buying climax and after this buying climax what follows is this rally here to the downside which is also known as automatic reaction and after this automatic reaction the so move here in an upper duration secondary test then you can see we had this price correction so we want to know what is actually unfolding here because you can see to the downside this line is actually also acting as a support here so that's why the support line is going to be big bigger why because this trend line is somewhere around 27,300. so i thought it's better to include until then so right now as you can see in a range bond market what happens is there is a pause in an uptrend because here the market was clearly heading in an upper direction so now this price correction or this price pullback is actually flashing some more like a consolidation phase before price starts choosing an actual trend direction because if this is going to play out as an wyckoff's reactive phase the price of bitcoin will actually find support at the support area here to the downside and could be moving in this manner here there are two different type of scenarios which could play out the one which we are focusing on is this two here right you can see reaccumulation with spring action and also another one is reaccumulation after shakeout so right now this price movement is actually exactly like what we are witnessing with bitcoin price action we are around this support line so after this support line there might be more like a consolidation phase price testing this support line again and again right again and again before actually starting slowly moving in an upper direction because you can see according to this if this is going to play out as a reaction with spring action or after the shake out right if this is a spring action then there could be a fake out i mean there could be more like a consolidation phase and a fake out again a price coming re to re-enter this accumulation phase and then continue its journey in this manner right but if this is not going to be with the spring action then this is more likely going to move in this manner guys so the price movement here would be somehow like this here right without this fake out and then continue your journey in an upper duration so this is right now what i see looking at the price action of bitcoin and why the price of bitcoin could also be finding support around this price level where we are right now let me show you a very good reason so now what we are actually going to do is we are going to look into price action of bitcoin in a daily time frame along with this monthly candle close or monthly candle open label and why is this so important is that because if you monitor this price movement when the price actually came back to retest the monthly candle open label a monthly candle close label you can see how the price has actually reacted the candle on 31st of march closed exactly around 6400 price level when the price headed to the upside the pullback was exactly at the monthly candle open label and then we had this really nice bounce here in an upper direction and if you look at this from 30th of april we had a similar scenario guys after price left the monthly candle open label right we had this price pullback and this price pullback was also exactly at the monthly candle open label you can see and it found a really strong support and then after that you can see it continues to start moving in an upper duration from 30th of june exactly the same once we were able to find proper support over this monthly candle open label that actually led to a really nice move in an upper duration so you can see but once we were below the monthly candle open label this same monthly candle open label has acted as a resistance so what i'm actually trying to pinpoint here is that every time when you see this price or candle closing properly above the monthly candle open label doesn't matter which month right at the end of the month you can see this has actually led to a really really bullish move in an upper duration you can see for example from november month when the price was able to find a proper support above this monthly candle open label we had a really really bullish move in an upper duration here from 31st of december is actually also flashing a very interesting scenario we had a really nice bounce and now the price pullback here we had this pullback and now this price pullback also came exactly at this monthly candle open label and why is that so important is because if you look at this price structure here from the past bitcoin price action whenever the price had this pullback 
again at the monthly candle open label you can see this was a very very strong support and after that the trend actually started moving in an upper duration so what i'm actually trying to say is that if this scenario here is going to actually play out as a Wyckoff's re-acknowledged phase then this is also a very good indication because the lower line here the 29,000, is going to be a very very strong support along with this Wyckoff re-acknowledged support line here to the downside and so you know now that this 29,000, the monthly candle open level is a very very strong support for bitcoin right now as well and also if you look at the price structure right you can see i told you guys not only just 29,000 price could come also around this 27,000 price level and why i'm actually focusing around this 27,200 27,300 is because if we look at the cpi analysis along with this price action let me show you that as well so now what we are actually going to do is we are going to look into price action of bitcoin in a daily time frame along with this cpi analysis because if you look at the price structure this cpi line this three line here this is cpi line this is a virgin cpi line and this means the price has never tested this cpi line because in many cases you can see in more than like 95 96 percent cases the price always comes back to test the cpi line before choosing the trend direction you can see here right with each and every month this cpi line was for the whole april month this cpi line was for the whole may month you can see for each and every month the price actually came to test the cpi line before choosing the trend direction and this means in our case right now you can see every time right you can see all the way from april the price has always come back to test the cpi line it can go on and on but in our case you can see this cpi line has not been tested because if you look at this candle here this was unable to touch the cpi line because this cpi line is still indicating this is a virgin cpi so what i'm actually trying to say you here is that if the cpi is also going to attract the price then at least the price could come across this top cpi line which is around 27,250 price label so after that we could see a strong support and then price also moving in this manner and why this is so important is because if you look at this let's say we can use this trend line area to pinpoint some important key level right so if you look at this price structure this here looks like a very nice symmetrical triangle right but the symmetrical triangle had a break to the downside so in that case if we measure the price movement here what we can say is that this price pullback from the symmetrical triangle could lead us can see exactly at this 27,200 or 27,100 price level. So this is why I was also focusing at the upper line or the top line of this CPI because if that's going to happen then this CPI scenario, this version CPI is also going to be filled and the price would also find a proper support along with the, the lowest point is also somewhere around 27,200 so that actually could make a lot of sense because if that's going to happen then we could be looking for the spring example here guys the spring here and then move in an upper duration not only just because i just showed you this symmetrical triangle scenario right you can also look at this in a bit different way i mean you can also say hey this could be a descending triangle here right so you can see this descending triangle if you measure the length this is also exactly from the top to the bottom area and this is also pointing out that we could come across exactly at this top CPI line. So this is one scenario which could also be playing out right now. So as you can see, guys, the target here to the downside would be the 27,200, 27,300 price level. And that doesn't mean the trend is reversing because we know around that level, this could still play out as a Wyckoff's re acquisition phase and we could still head to the upper duration. Now, let's also have a look at Bitcoin Ethereum chart. I want to show you a very, very interesting scenario what actually unfolded with Bitcoin and now could also be unfolding with Ethereum. So guys, this here on the right hand side, this is Ethereum USD in a 4 hour time frame. And here on the left hand side, this is Bitcoin USD in a 4 hour time frame. So what I'm actually trying to show you here at comparing this chart, the reason why I'm comparing this chart is because right now, if we look at this price structure here of ETA, after breaking all time high, we are seeing some sort of a reversal scenario, right? And if you look at this Bitcoin price action, when Bitcoin actually broke the all time high, we had a similar price scenario or i mean this price structure just like what we are witnessing with ethereum right now because if you look at this price structure inside this parallel channel here for ether and also for bitcoin you can see here guys this price movement you can see here this similar price structure is also unfolding right now with us because if you look at the price structure of bitcoin and ether the upper line actually acted as a resistance here the upper line is actually acting as a resistance here lower line gave us a very strong support here as well like lower line gave us a very strong support we broke the all-time high we broke the all-time high we had this price pullback but if you look at this in a bit different way you can also say hey what we can do is we can use this trend line area here for bitcoin to pinpoint some very interesting scenario because right now you can see if this was an actual 
ascending triangle type of scenario you can see the price of bitcoin had a move in this manner broke the all-time high had a price pullback and then again a move to the upside after breaking the upper line of this ascending triangle and if you look at the scenario here with ether it is something similar guys because you can see here the price of ether is also flashing a very very interesting scenario because this here is also flashing a similar type of price structure which is actually showing us that maybe if this is going to play out just like with bitcoin then right now this is also an ascending triangle and this ascending triangle scenario is also just like with bitcoin you can see here move in and up direction broke the all-time high pullback exactly here right and now what we could be witnessing is slowly a move in an upper direction so if this is going to play out as a like just like with the bitcoin price action then the price of ether is actually preparing itself for a very very bullish move in an upper duration so you can see guys this fracture here was a very nice move in an upper duration since then the price of bitcoin had a really massive move so if that's going to happen then the price of ether could also be around this 2000 price level very very soon if this is going to unfold just like here with bitcoin price action and also looking at the ether price action right now you you can see guys after reaching the road to valhalla it has now shown some sort of a rejection to continue further in an upper duration what is happening here because if you look at this one two three reversal scenario this actually played out very very well because according to this one to three the target here would be from this neckline to the bottom area and if you look at this here right after this buy entry you can see the price also came exactly at our target area of 1300 80 dollar so you can see exactly after reaching that area we are seeing some sort of a price rejection and price is heading in a downward duration so what is actually happening this is actually absolutely normal because guys you can see after this kind of massive price bump you can see all the way from 500 dollar till like this 1400 dollar in short a short time period this is actually a very very impressive move so even though we are going to see any sort of a lower price pullback i mean right now you can see yesterday we had this price pullback around 1045 dollar and we can go even lower right in lower we can see the price here to the downside could be around 975 980 price level so this lower target is also to be actually taken into consideration because i want to see this price movement moving in this manner guys to be honest inside this descending channel so what we want right now is price of ether to find proper support at 1143 and this price level right now is around 1174 this support here this 1140 must be holding the price so if we are slowly going to consolidate or even seeing any sort of rejection or this pull down scenario right we can still look this price structure inside this descending channel because i believe if we could find proper support above this price label and also break above the upper line area of this descending channel the price could slowly move in an upper duration it might take time it might not happen today or tomorrow but we have to also take that scenario into consideration that the price like this could take longer than expected to reverse right so let's see how this one is going to happen because the upper target right now for me would be 1250 and 1350 price level for ether and if you look at this in a bigger time frame i've already talked about this bigger time frame plenty of time in my videos you can see in a bigger time frame this weak rejection here massive weak rejection was a very bullish sign but now we are finding a very interesting scenario because right now you can see this candle here the rejection of weak to the upside and also to the downside is showing that hey would be a great to find support around this 1220 price level so if you could actually find support above that then the upper target is still going to be intact and also if we are going to see any sort of a reversal then we also know that this price level 1040 dollar is going to act as a very very strong support for ether so guys this is what i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin and ethereum so this is all for today i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then hit the like button and also if you're watching this for the first time definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye guys